it's going to get loud in here because I'm cooking for everyone today. But this is my signature Chinese food. Uh, we have some uh, chopped potatoes. There's two small chopped potatoes here. Uh, shit ton of corn because my daughter and I love corn. Uh, carrots, uh, green snake beans, uh, green peppers. This is some diced um, ginger and some chili. Uh, shallots, brown sugar, butter. We need a nutmeg, Chinese five spice, uh, light sauce, light soy sauce, paprika, cinnamon, dark soy sauce, original oyster sauce, and, uh, and leftover rice. That's got some noodles in there. And uh, we're gonna use an electric wok, because I've only got electric wok. And we're gonna cook these in butter. See, um, this is gonna be delectable, man. This is so fatty and beautiful. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it, because um, I'm really hungry today, but it's supposed to be pork bellies, but I don't eat pork, so uh, this is um, deboned lamb ribs, because they're streaky and fatty and delicious. And they're gonna be very crunchy and nice. So we've got uh, unsalted butter sizzling away there and some brown sugar. Now, it may sound gross because like you brown sugar, butter and meat. Yeah. But if you've ever had um, honey, soy, anything, you're gonna love this. So you mix up the caramelizers, so let it go for a bit. Go for the bubbles to disappear, go for it hot enough, and then chuck the lamb in. Well, the reason why I've got everything here is because I just chuck it in together. And now, uh, let's get it on the smaller. Put meat. Yeah, use the pan to chop the meat away, of course. And you fry that until it's golden brown and the butter is oozing out of the meat and it's, the fat renders and it's crunchy. And you toss it all around and you just let it coat and it smells divine already, man. But, um, it's got a very caramel, well, it's basically made caramel, you know. Um, butter and, and, and brown sugar. You know, just let this go for a while and come back. So this is about where you want it. The fat's kind of crispy, the meat's cooked. You now you grab your veggies. Um, hopefully I don't spill those all over the place. There's a lot of them because, you know, it's a fairly healthy dish, despite the sugar and stuff being in it. I'm going to use my phone to you know, bring all the goodness down because, uh, you know, that's what I can do. And then you mix all this around. Make sure you coat everything with that delicious soy and sorry, not soy, the brown sugar and the butter. You obviously want to cook them. You to... All this stuff lying around here. No one said I was, uh, I was not a messy cook. So, with these beautiful things, I'm going to add the rice. Oh, we add uh, about a tablespoon of light soy, something like that, uh, got a tablespoon of dark soy, and then my sister's going off in the background, tablespoon of oyster sauce, if it comes out, it's really bloody, there we go, uh, about a pinch of five spice, and a pinch of cinnamon, and then we have some smoked paprika up in here. Give it a smoky bit of taste and kind of undo it just a pinch of that. That's a bit more than a pinch, but that's fine. And we'll stir it all in. And let it cook a bit longer, we'll come back to it. Now we shall add the rice. So, yeah. That's called the burp of rice, and we just mix that in. Mix the food, so then just, yeah, make sure you use it. Now I like to add a little bit of water, quite a bit, so um, the rice doesn't stick to everything, like to the sides. But um, alright, so it's okay, it's going to be really dark when it comes out because of the soy and the brown sugar and stuff, but break it up, this rice is from yesterday. I'm back in a second. I was done, I've got the heat off, I'll grab my shallots, and I go to that in there. Just bleh, alright? It's not a garnish, we're gonna mix these through. When you're done, this stuff is everyone singing in the background. It's absolutely delectable, it's just so nice. This whole dish took me about 15 minutes to make, no shit. And it's the nicest freaking stuff we've ever had. Okay, love you, bye. And here's what it looks like. Now, this bowl is the size of my head, and I don't have a small head. So, um, look at it, look at it, look at it. 15 minutes man, is this dish 
and it just tastes almost like authentic Chinese food, man. It's just the best stuff in the world.